How are we doing today folks? It's been a quite a while since I did any kind of videos with my Alice Chalmers D14 tractor. In fact, I haven't used this tractor since October. Uh, we didn't have any snow that was plowable. I mean, I was all ready to go. I had my back blade on. You saw me uh, last fall scraping off the garden after I uh, had plowed it with that and has basically sat here ever since. I was ready for the snow, but we never got any. So, uh, what I want to do is just a small addition. Now, these tractors, as far as I know, never had rear view mirrors on them. All modern tractors, of course, do, but back then they didn't. And I've been looking at what can I do to solve that problem. Uh, it's not that I'm on the highway all that much that I need it for that reason, but just when you're doing something that you're pulling, whether it's plowing or brush hogging or whatever, you constantly have to turn around and look back to see what's going on behind you. And the truth of the matter is after you get a little older, your neck gets stiff after doing that for a couple hours. So I was trying to figure out what can I do to practically put some kind of rear view mirror on here because there just isn't a logical place that it would have you know could have been put on it with original equipment or anything they just didn't have them so what can I do I didn't want to spend a fortune and I just wanted it so that it worked basically for me just so that I can glance into the mirror and see what's going on behind me periodically when I'm doing my work so what I've come up with is this I got this little mirror uh, at uh, I think it was Advanced Auto. It was just a $10 mirror and has a, a mounting bracket on the back and then I took a piece of uh, this perforated uh, strapping steel and bent it like this and just had to figure out where I could put it. Obviously it's got to go on one of the fenders here. There's no place up front you can't attach it to the gas tank or anything like that. That wouldn't work at all. Um, and there's no other structure above that level on the tractor. There's no cab or anti-rollover bar or anything like that so that you can mount it anywhere there. So my only other option that I came up with, climb up here and I'll show you. Get into position here, okay. From sitting here in the tractor again, I've got to turn all the way around to look at what I'm doing when I'm working. And from some of the videos you saw uh, when I would be brush hogging or plowing, you know how much I was straining to get the camera around behind and so that you could see what was going on. So it hasn't been easy to do. Now, I always get on and off the tractor from the left side here just because there's more room to get on and off. It's just the clutch down there. I don't have to get around the two brakes or the the power shifter here and also the uh, uh, when I put the the trip bucket on here the lever for that is also on the right hand side so I seldom get on and off the tractor oops sorry about that from the right hand side so putting something on this fender made more sense to me than putting it on this fender where I'd be constantly bumping it when I get on and off the tractor maybe it'll be too much in my way here too I don't know uh, it's an experiment and my thinking was something like this. Let me see if I can shift the camera here a little bit and show you. That I would put it on something like this. Now, as you can see from this angle, I can see the back blade right there. The mirror can look in between the, the fender and the seat so I can in fact see behind me I was worried that this other light that I mounted there would be a problem Let's see if we can get it in the mirror but um, and I thought well maybe I have to take one of the rear lights off because of that but I don't think I think if I angle it just like this and this mirror can rotate up down side to side so I can adjust it I can get a decent look behind me. If I'm on the road with it, I can see behind for other traffic. If I'm brush hogging or plowing or whatever, I can see back to what I'm doing. So I'm going to try to mount this here. Uh, basically, 
I marked a couple spots uh, to drill holes through the fender and then just mount on this bracket with uh, a couple nuts and bolts and washers. So nothing expensive, no, nothing high tech, but I'm hoping that this will solve my problem for being able to work more comfortably but still be able to see what's going on behind me. So, I mean, again, a newer tractor, you've got these big mirrors off to the left and right side. They have these ears that kind of stick out. Um, you know, you can see very well. They have multiple mirrors and all that kind of stuff. But this is a, <laughs> a 1950s Alice D14. So it's not something that's going to be high tech like that. I guess the farmers in the old days didn't worry about stiff necks. I don't know. Or maybe they got to be so good they didn't need to look back. They could kind of just go by feel what their implements behind were doing. But for my sake, I'm going to give this a try. So uh, I will come back to you after I get my holes drilled and it mounted and we'll see how it looks and see if I think it's going to work in that position. I hate to drill holes through the fender. I mean, I know it's not original and this mirror isn't original, but as I've told you before with this tractor, it's a working tractor. It's not a restoration. So I'm doing what I need to do to make it practical to work for me here uh, out in the country. So I'm not worried about it fancying it up. I'm just worried about it working. So that's my solution, my cheap solution, my honest shoestring solution for this to make it easier to work with. So I'll be back to you when it's in play. Okay, we are attached. As you can see from sitting in my normal position, I know I have the camera not quite where my face is, but I'm looking directly down through. You can see a little bit of the rear uh, fender there. If you go to this side a little bit, you can see the, the back of the seat. And in between, I know my elbow's in the way there now. Get it out of the way. There you go. I can see straight back through. So I'm hoping that will do the trick. Again, as I said, you can see I just mounted it. Two screws, or excuse me, two nuts and bolts with washers through the, through the fender. And then I've got this little bit of play here in this mounting bracket that came with the, uh, with the mirror to pivot it. So if it's not quite where I want it to be, or if it comes loose, I'll have to adjust it. But, um, but I do have some options there. And I think it's going to be far enough away from where I'm operating the tractor that I won't be constantly bumping it. I hope so. Um, I have it pretty well, as you can see, pretty much close out to the end of the, the fender. Uh, so I couldn't get it further away from me. But it's also good because it's still well with inside the, the track of the, the rear tires here. So if I'm driving through the woods or the brush or whatever, I don't need to worry about it sticking out that it'll get knocked off as easily. It's still within the, the footprint of the tractor. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, just a little minor repair here, but it'll make a big difference, I'm sure, for me. I'll um, give you some updates on it as I'm doing work with the tractor this spring and summer to let you know how it's working. And if uh, those of you guys on the Alice pages have a better suggestion for me or if this is helpful to you in either way, um, just let me know, comment um, either on the YouTube page or if I put this on one of the Alice Facebook pages. Um, we'll go from there. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the notifications bell, and uh, that way you can follow along to what... Uh, what's going on here as we continue to live out in the country and to do it on just a shoestring. There it is. It's a $10 mirror, uh, leftover scrap piece of, of plate metal and a couple old <laughs> nuts and bolts and washers I had in the nuts, bolts and washers drawer. So thanks for watching.